Okay, uh, I would like to share with you um, two movies and two books this week. Uh, the first film I saw that is almost impossible to describe is called Taxidermia. I saw it on Netflix streaming and it's almost impossible to describe. It's a short film and it spans three generations and it's very gross. It's funny, although it's not supposed to be that funny. But uh, just look it up on Amazon or IMDb and look, look at the description for this thing. I found it really fascinating. I could not stop watching it. The other one is um, uh, Hatchet. When I was watching a film on Netflix streaming uh, called His Name was Jason, 30 Years of Friday the 13th, uh, I came across a reference to a movie called Hatchet, which the director admits he's a big fan of Friday the 13th films, and you can tell. I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but it's basically the story of Friday the 13th. Um, Also, I have two books. One's called Hater, just came out in paperback, which I'm so thrilled. And the other is um, The Mysterious Benedict Society and The Perilous Journey, which I also liked a lot. Um, oh, are you great today? What I always do. Yeah. Taxidermia. I love doing that to my friends. I mean, no. I love showing that movie to my friends. You've <laughs> never seen it before. Yeah. And watch it. That looks like totally cool. Yeah. Kind of like Friday it's the 13th about. movies, you know, with a hatchet yeah. and serial killer. Another movie like Friday the 13th, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> well. Hater. Very hater. good book. It's kind of an argument time. <laughs> For hate? Hate. Yeah. yeah. You're a hater. Uh, 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 brother, you're being that stupid kid's work again. Hate the thing. It's funny. Get rid of it. It's not funny. It is funny. That murderous. Sometimes you are <laughs> totally stupid. What? I said sometimes. I can't understand a word you're saying. Read the captions. How? Turn on the caption button. No. Hold on. Alright. I said sometimes you are totally stupid. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> um, the captions are still on. Um, it's a pretty obscure serial killer reference there, buddy. Oh, I forgot to move my thoughts to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I guess I better talk to you, okay? I'm going to leave. Bye. <laughs> Hope to see you again. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, brother. <laughs> Um, I've been waiting for Hater to come out in paperback for a while because um, I read that this was one of those internet successes that this guy published this thing online and finally it got the, you know, it got noticed by people like Guillermo del Toro, director of Pan's Labyrinth. He's supposedly going to make a movie out of this. Very, I know the way it starts out, what well, I was going to say, it's a very clever book. It starts out like... 28 days later. In fact, that's what I thought it was going to be, but it, it isn't. And I don't want to cheat this guy by saying that. Uh, he's a British writer, hater, and it is not like, it, it is not really like 28 Days Later. It's really a good book, really suspenseful, and it's part one of a trilogy. Book number two is back here. It's called Dog Blood, coming soon. This, I finally got around to reading the second book in this series, that I said before is kind of 
uh, a good contender for people that liked uh, the Harry Potter books. This is interesting. Um, once again, it puts the kids in really real perilous situations. And if you have a kid, or if you are a kid like I am, um, get it for them. I liked it. I thought it was very entertaining. Uh, I thank you for uh, watching, as usual, and uh, I really appreciate you uh, tuning in. Thanks a lot. Bye.